review about it and, and there's like five stars across the top uh, as you can see there and just sort of say oh what did, did you like about it what didn't you like about it and we found there was a, a lot of difference in charging uh, stations you know, anything from the the brightly green painted uh, parking spaces which that was bonus points right there um, to was it well signed was it easy to find or was it tucked way around the back uh, like at the, the, the Best Western Hotel in Milton, you got to go all the way around the back the and dumpster. try and find it. Uh, <laughs> that was our favorite. So, was that? Find the dumpster and the solar powered one that we have in the oh, yes. that day. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, so, so then you can uh, give, it, give it a review there and, and just write a little bit about it. And, and even just to say, the chargers all the way around the back, just so that the next people that come along and are making use of this app, uh, to find a charging space uh, can easy, more easily find where exactly this, this charger is. So that was helpful. And the, the key was uh, you had to take a selfie. So take a, a photo of yourself with your vehicle and the charger and attach it to your review uh, before you upload it. So then, and then it would keep track of uh, all of everybody's points on a, sort of a leaderboard uh, on the Sun Country Highway website that you could go and visit. So um, we basically spread our, um, our race over about five days. Uh, the first one covering basically Stratford through to Goderich. So uh, uh, there's, there's a hotel in downtown Stratford that's got a charging, sta charging station. And being a little bit of a, a weather buff uh, involved in aviation, uh, we came across the Exeter uh, radar station, which is there. Uh, and there was a there's a charging station in Exeter, and then a whole bunch of little little towns uh, uh, where there were just sort of these really out of the way places where there was actually a Sun Country Highway charger. Uh, so we, we had to do a lot of driving around to, to hit all of them. Um, but then we uh, got to, to Goderich, it was a pretty cloudy and rainy day in, in, in October. And uh, so when, while there, we, uh, we were in one of the downtown, there's two actually two chargers in, right in downtown Goderich, and one of them uh, was already uh, connected to uh, uh, Cadillac ELR, the first one that we'd ever seen. Uh, and I think the fellow that owns it is, is Paul Marin, Marin Tet, Marinette. Uh, so, um, so we've actually connected with him on Facebook, he lives in Toronto, we're going to go and visit them sometime. So we were sort of uh, following each other, I guess, for a part of this day. Um, and then uh, North Huron uh, Museum also had one that had a big SUV parked in front of it. So, you know, coming across those things where you find that the spaces are, are iced, as they call them. Uh, and, uh, and as we were sort of driving through the country, there's curry line, uh, so I stopped and had a the picture taken. The first three days are like that. really awesome journaling, pictures of towns, the last three days are like, just the charge. Just get it done! <laughs> <laughs> So uh, day two, we were down in uh, in St. Catharines, Niagara area, so we were able to do sort of the whole Niagara Peninsula. Uh, so for some of you that follow uh, Sun Country Highway, uh, they have recently launched a, a, a dual uh, chargers at Balls Falls Conservation Area, which we had never been to and, and uh, had not known about. So uh, even though we were just sort of making a quick stop, now we know there's a place that we can go, we can drive our uh, EV to and go and visit and spend some more time. Uh, and really? We're coming through the alley there and they all stop and they're like, what is this? Is that the vault? And so we talk with them for a moment. What is that white car? Um, that's that's Tesla Roadster. Road 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 that's, that's behind my office. That may have stopped. And then the bottom right hand corner, that was the um, Hilton Garden in, in Niagara on the Lake. It's free. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then there we are, just right out, right out front here uh, at the uh, North West Lake Arena. And we've got uh, Cambridge North Humphreys Hydro there at the bottom. And that's Stephen Beta's house where we're plugging <laughs> it up for the, for the camera. So uh, checking in at, at his place. 
And then day, on to day three, so we sort of had to, we sort of planned out our routes each time to, to make the best uh, uh, use of our time and uh, you know, score the most points. So uh, the top left-hand corner, so this day we brought our dog along. Uh, so the top left-hand corner is the Tim Hortons in Milton. Uh, and then the one that's hidden all the way in behind the, the best that western in Milton. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, like, who's going to watch my car back just here? For, it's, it's a car rally. I just need to literally stop my car there, take a picture, you can stand there, and we're going to go, oh no, I can't open that gate. So that's fine. Like like the the oh, that, no, that's right, that was downtown Toronto. That's why I have the funny face on, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, some, some hotel in downtown Toronto. You can just say, don't get ready. <laughs> the hotel was very nice. It's very nice. So there we are, uh, Woodstock, uh, the top left there, and then the bottom one's a Woodstock one as well. Oh, yeah, no, this no, bottom left is Woodstock. Uh, top right is par called Paris Renewable Energy, and it's basically uh, uh, solar power. Yeah, solar power. But it was a cloudy day, so it wasn't working that day. It's, it's, it's actually, no, it's actually kind of really the power cable yeah, charger right. just bought Lake County power, so that's ours now. Yes. That's actually not the, the charger actually isn't solar powered. That's a grid connected solar demonstration okay. project, and the charger is connected. Well, I know it wasn't working. Yes. I didn't know that. Yet. <laughs> Uh, and then I think that's Brant Brantford's uh, Best Western on the bottom corner, I think. No, is that? No, that's Woodstock as well. I don't remember. That was Woodstock. No, it's not Woodstock. <laughs> so Best Western must have some policy higher up that they want to put charging stations in. Yeah, they seem, yeah, seem to be getting more and more of them, yeah. None of those are Woodstock. And then uh, sort of our, our last day, as we, as we were sort of watching the leaderboard and we could see uh, Mike Molinari starting to catch up and Mike's <laughs> getting points, he's getting extra points, what's going on? That's it, we're doing petro cans, 10 goals, <laughs> so, 20. Trying to hit as many as we could. So uh, University of Guelph uh, just recently opened uh, the Sun Country Charger, so that was the first one that we did there. Uh, and. Uh, Bramley City Center. Uh, I'm surprised that one was iced. Like that one is always iced. Yeah. Right? They got the that? biggest sign in the That's world. The thing's like four yeah. stories tall and it's spotted. Yeah, right off up the side of the <laughs> parking garage. The one was really really hard to find actually, and so we asked a student. I said, "Do you know where this charging station is? We're in a." Uh, a car race called the Amazing Race, and she goes, the Amazing Race, and she's looking for a camera crew. And I'm like, no, 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 no. She's looking in the back seat. I'm like, no. Um, so the left there, that was a um, sort of sustainable sustainability demonstration house uh, in uh, Woodbridge, I believe. And then, and then the one that Becky was talking about earlier with the the charger tucked behind the dumpster, uh, that's in uh, in Woodbridge as well at some uh, Primavera. Uh, 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 Primavera, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Right. So that one has been open for because I used it last year and there was no dumpster there. Oh yeah. Obviously, <laughs> obviously it doesn't get used much. So, Trying to push the thing out of the way. Um, and because this was day five, this was actually the first of November that we did day five. Uh, so we're, and we had to have everything done by, uh, I think it was by 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. So um, we we're sort of watching the time and we did a stop in Aurora uh, and then we had to get across to Bolton. So I think we did our check-in in Aurora about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 10 after 3, and we knew it was going to take us a half an hour to get across to, to Bolton. But the other part of the Amazing Race was Petro Canada is a sponsor of the Amazing Race as well. And for every Petro Canada that you stopped at and took a selfie at was an extra ten points. So we were all along we were collecting, you know, I don't never realize it was so darn many Petro Canadas in Ontario. Um, but I think we ended up with like forty three of them that we stopped at, something like that. So uh, they were all worth bonus points. So the last day we had all these photos that we, we couldn't upload through the through the check-in app, we had to actually email them in. So we're going from Aurora across to Bolton, and there's King City, which is right along uh, Highway 400. So we thought, okay, well, they just opened a brand new Tim Hortons in King City, so they probably have Wi-Fi. So we, we pull in, and I go in, and they, I don't know, maybe they were open like a day or two or something, and they didn't have their Wi-Fi up and running yet. So, oh, great, now so we, we kept going across towards Bolton, 
and uh, we're going through King City, and Becky says, public library. And so we did the pretty much the amazing race kind of thing, and you whip into the library, and I grabbed the laptop and ran in, and do you guys have public Wi-Fi? And they're like, yes, here's the code for it. And then, of course, it's going slow. Uh, so I'm trying to upload 25 photos to, to uh, the Sun Country Highway folks to get credit before, before 4 o'clock. So finally they all went through and I think it was about, by that time it was about 20 to, 25 to 4, 20 to 4. And we still had uh, about 20 minutes to get to Bolton. We finally made it to Bolton about 5 to 4. And they have two chargers in Bolton and both of them had big gigantic pickup trucks parked it and then we're like really <laughs> so uh, just as we pulled in uh, I think both owners ended up coming well, out while we were there yeah, or one of them did and my, I'm saying to my husband I'm talking to him I usually yeah, but, I'm not like that. he's like no 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 I'm like I'm talking to him so I, I got out and I pointed to our car and I pointed to the sign I pointed to his car I'm doing this and he's like oh sorry it's in the sign I'm like really it's great and then the guy that got in his uh, big hemi eight cylinder thing yeah, I, just, I just gave him a dirty look he gave me a dirty look back he didn't truly get it, but that's okay. So that was our last check-in of about, I think we did about 43, 46 yeah. check-ins at uh, actual Sun Country uh, chargers. And then, so this was just sort of a smattering of the Petro Canada pictures that we took. And and, uh, and so they were sort of, they were looking for creativity uh, as well in the, in the pictures, which Mike Molinar, M Molinari won the, the, the award for most creative photos. So if you've ever had a chance, do go on the Sun Country Highway website uh, or on their Facebook page and you can see all the pictures that everybody has uh, submitted for the EMAs and Rake. So there's a few of them there. Um, yeah, so there we are. We didn't actually, the map for some reason didn't show everything. It said there was over 40, it was over 42 there, but it was more like 46 or 47. Oh, 46. Uh, so altogether, almost 1,500 kilometers, uh, 35 and a half hours of drive time, 38 Petro Canadas, and 37 towns or cities. So anything from you know up to Goderich. Uh, so you can see we got down as far as uh, Ingersoll, all the way down to Niagara on the lake, um, and then Toronto. Toronto was just crazy trying to go di going down into the core of Toronto. In the hotel, where it was two levels down underneath the hotel. Yeah, it took like 15 minutes to go down all the way. Yeah, yeah. It was the best way. It was the best way. It was the best way. It was like built for a horse or carriage or something. So, yeah, just lots of different uh, things out there. Uh, there was maybe one or two of them that, that weren't working. Um, but it was just uh, it was a lot of fun doing that, you know, driving around and, and getting to talk to people. And uh, like I say, watching the leaderboard and seeing where we are. Uh, so we ended up being the basically the highest scoring non the uh, you know straight electric vehicles. So I think the top three finishers were all Teslas, uh, and then we came in fourth with our Bolt. So uh, that that was kind of neat. Um, and uh, so that's. Oh, there's a, here, here's a little bit of news from the end. And uh, there's a picture from, from Mike there at the end. So uh, he, he, yeah, he did like 24 charging stations in, in the space of two days. Uh, but then in the, in the end, there's Ron and Kathleen Gonsalves from uh, Oregon. So they drove their Tesla all the way from Oregon to PEI to start the race, and then all the way across to Vancouver. And I think they 202 charging stations, something like that, uh, along the way, and they got like 4,000 some odd points. I want to say six weeks, I mean, correct me, four weeks or six weeks together of travel. Something like that, and yeah. something about, she quoted something about, and we're still married or something. So, <laughs> so, so that's, that's basically our, our presentation. Um, 